have. We will be discussing decentralized departments as well as transfer pricing. It's better that we dive into the problem. I know you will get bored when you discuss theories, so let's dive into this problem. We have the electric division of the big data, wiring is developed in wind generator uh, that requires a special S ball bearings. These ball bearings uh, can be produced by the ball, the ball bearing division of Covita. So we have the ball bearing and division and we have the electric division. So two, two, inter, two independent divisions, the electric and the ball bearings as well as autonomous investment centers. So ball bearings can be produced by uh, sorry, the S ball bearings can be produced by ball bearings but unfortunately, if they do that they have to sacrifice um, existing product T bearings to produce the 600 S bearings so as the finance uh, head how would you uh, consider, are you going to produce or are you going to buy this because they found an external supplier that would furnish S bearings at 100 per unit. So if they produce inside the company, it will require a variable cost of 30 and the new S bearing would be 60 per unit. T uh, is currently selling for 50, while S is would be 60 per unit. If they produce, they would be saving, of course, 60. But we have to consider that both bearings will have to sacrifice T bearings. So the first question is, what is the maximum price per unit that electric division would be willing to pay both for the S bearing? What is the maximum price? The answer is, a more than 100 for the S bearings because that there's an outside layer suppliers uh, that is offering 100. So no hampering of the internal uh, organization or dinner production there at 100. So of course you're not going to pay more than 100. Why pay more than 100? You can have it outside without disrupting the whole operations of the company. So the answer here is 100. The next question is, what is the minimum price that ball bearing division would, will be, would consider to produce less? The first question was, uh, electric division's maximum price to pay. Second question is, what's ball bearing's price charged to electric minimum price? Okay, so we have to consider that if they would be selling this to electric division, they will have to sacrifice T bearings for 1,000 units just to produce the 600 units. So we have to consider that in our computation, that means the minimum price is the income they are getting out of the T bearings they are going to uh, give up. So, their sales for 1,000 units is of course 1,000 times it is selling for T selling R T R selling for 50 so T R selling for 50 so 1,000 times 50 so that's 50,000 its variable cost for T bearing is 1,000 times 30, so that's 30,000. Then we have, so sales minus variable cost is your contribution margin. Actually, you can just make it 1,000 times 50 minus 30, or 1,000 times 20. So this is 20,000. So you will be losing 20,000. Uh, for T bearings, if 
both direct division will be producing the 600 units. So, 20,000 must be recouped if they are to uh, produce yes. So that means this 20,000 will be divided by 600 which is the S variance. So 20,000 divided by 600 is equal to 93.33. This is the price that ball bearing is the minimum price. The ball bearing is to charge electric division to recoup this income that they are currently getting from selling the D bearings. So that's our answer for number two. Question? Next question is, how would your answer to number two question be different if Bulgarian did not need to forfeit any of existing sales to produce the S bearing? So, if Bulgarian uh, can produce the 600 S bearings without forfeiting its existing uh, sales from other clients, the question is, what is the minimum price that S bearing should be charging? The electric division of the company? The answer would be the 60 pesos uh, per unit. The price that should be charged by the ball bearing division to the electric division of the company would be the variable cost to produce S bearing, which is 60 per unit. Question 4. What factors decide price in electric division do you want to consider in deciding whether uh, where it will purchase the bearing? So, if the company will be purchasing, if both, if electric division will be purchasing from <coughs> the other division, which is the ball bearing division, of course, uh, the company can ensure that the product they are producing are of quality, are of high quality. So, Aside from price, the electric division should consider if the LC supplier would meet delivery deadlines, would meet quality requirements, uh, would willing to accept future cost reductions. Of course, you have also to consider the, the business reputation of the outside supplier stability of the workforce of that uh, company of course you will be relying on your uh, future supply so you have to consider are they stable when it comes to, to, to their labor and you have also to think are they if we are dependent if the electric division will be dependent now to this company would they willing to uh, stick with their price or is there a possibility of a price increase so those are the things that should be considered besides price. 